He is the man who returned their god to them. As soon as he found out, they practically worshipped technology. He repowered the Matrix. Well, that was a lot more complex. There was a lot of stuff that had to go in. I mean, the power source on the ship was dead and had been forever. Um, and trying to get these people to mine and refine uranium or plutonium or anything like that that can power a ship, forget it. Mm -hmm. But Khan convinced me to help him design and build a power plant so that we could jack power into the ship and power it out. He told me it was so that we could get a distress signal in because our ship was beyond hope. Nothing was working. Mm -hmm. So I helped him and we built the power plant and the Gonquins tore down their forest to feed it. He convinced them to go mine metals and materials out of the mountains nearby and they did which caused conflict with the other tribes who had always been jealous of their connection with the Force. The witch doctors of the tribes are one thing, but that's nothing compared to a Jedi's training. Mm -hmm. So they've always had the upper hand. Once Khan taught them how to smelt iron into steel and harness electricity, they began slaughtering their neighbors. In a few years, with Admiral in charge and Riva acting as his scout, Anyone who wasn't willing to join them was either killed or ran off. Mm -hmm. well, that's probably why they decimated that army heading this way a while ago with my ship. So that's why I left. Mm -hmm. Now where is it? I'm going to take it back and I'm going to blow this entire village to kingdom come. Starting with that power plant. You can't do it. You can't. Why These not? people have been duped by this call. We have to take him out of power. I think blowing up his plant would do the trick just nicely. But you'd be killing innocents. Like I care. I do. You know, there's one pressing concern that I've had during this whole conversation. Beva is staring daggers at you right now. But, uh... And I, I kind of smack her to get her to stop staring at him and look at me for a second. Where's our Defel? Zidane? Your Falleen? That's Fallen. right, he's Falleen. Where's our Falleen? Oh yeah. Would they have taken a prisoner when they took our ship? And if he was on board, they might have. Have you heard anything of a prisoner? Mm -hmm. That means we need to see if he's still alive and get him. You guys hear a series of sonic booms. Series? I look yes. at the pseudo trooper to take a look outside since he's three by the super door. loud, followed by four less loud and then another three less even less loud than that what the heck was that oh. did perhaps one of the other groups arrive mm. one of the other salvage teams other salvage teams how many of you are there i think there's eight ships no there's three maybe four if i remember there's right. four or five Groups. <laughs> it can be anywhere between three and eight at this point. She begins uh, manically laughing. A lot of people are going to get stuck down here is what you're thinking, huh? No. She she leans back and uh, continues less she's, like she's laughing. And she, um, she can't seem to stop herself. Yeah. I'll grab her by the shoulder. Why is this funny? Because it means it worked. Oh, you savage. You're the one who made the distress beacon? No. Yes. Well, sure you told us that. the actions are the ones that, that her actions are the ones that turn on the distress beacon that we're looking for. Makes sense now. The ship that you're using is the 50-year-old ship that they originally crashed in. And you gave that the power. That's what she said. Yes. And that's what's drawing everyone here. The opportunity for 50-year-old salvage. <laughs> a historian, a rebellion, and an empire. All wanting one lousy ship from 50 years ago. Fun. 
just tells me. He told me he shut it off. No, no, no. It's still broadcasting. And since they found out, when he found out that I had turned it on, well, let's just say life hasn't been good since then. He wants the ships to come. He wants to blow them out of the sky and salvage them. He's running out of equipment. And he doesn't have the missiles to shoot that thing out of the sky. It's like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they collect more weaponry from the salvage ships. Well, they certainly ain't getting from the Alderanian Shoals. That one's toast. But they got it out of my ship. Let's go get my ship back. Like, now. Is there a way to get to... What does your ship have on it? Uh, dual tur light turbo lasers. A medium ion cannon and um, medium concussion missile launcher. Oh, wait, no, this is her asking or you? Yeah, okay, yeah that's sorry. her asking. Oh, never mind, I'm not going to give her a weapons layout, but... Oh. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you as GM no. were asking that, sorry. Yeah. No, I'll say that I'll, we have a... Uh, dual turbo lasers. You can't do much damage with that. And concussion missiles. <laughs> Her eyes get big. Wait, can we tell if she has no eyelids? <laughs> I just said she doesn't have much of eyelids. She does still have enough to make it nose. And she has brow. She has a brow ridge that you see goes up. Wrinkles uh -huh. on her forehead. Mm. That on the other hand. So, we're gonna go get my ship now, right? Before they can do any other damage. Well, where does Call stay? Khan, he's Con. he lives, he stays on the ship, the cathedral they call it. Is there a way in to the cathedral without being noticed? No. No. And if they haven't fired the missiles from their ship yet, that means they haven't taken them off. Which means they might not know about it yet, or they don't plan on it. Which means he <laughs> probably plans on keeping their ship. <laughs> And are they all at the cathedral right now? We saw them leaving for the power plant, everybody in town. Yeah, it's afternoon prayer services. Is the cathedral by the power plant? Yeah. We didn't have that much cabling, so we had to build it nearby. It's charcoal-powered or coal-powered steam turbine. So your shipmate thinks he's a god now. No. He thinks he's a high priest. And so do the locals. <laughs> Would you mind if we killed him? I can't help you do that. I wasn't asking you. I was asking you if you would get in our way. What's up? Minus... Because she's got no face. I mean... <laughs> Minus three. <laughs> yes, we are horrible and may or may not be going to hell. Nonsense. Two. You get the feeling that she would struggle with that choice, but is not willing to make it beforehand. Hmm. Don't know that he needs to die. Just be shown for the imposter that he is. I really don't care about the people here. He took something from me. I don't like it. Beavis, like, so you're just gonna... We have to break his hold over these people. Actually, that might be more fun. Gail's break like, it might hold. not be that easy. About two years ago, he started to reprogram the hologram. Then why don't we do that ourselves? Okay, what, are you gonna do match code for code? Like, we have a slicer back. right here, don't we? Because I got... I got six months Beavis of like, time. I mean, it's possible, but... I'm just thinking of the Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> we gotta find the, the holograms. Then she has to sit down and take the time to reprogram them, all doing this while not getting caught. Messing with the high priest's BS. It would be easier just to wipe them out, to delete them. Do that too. Wouldn't they be worth something? To the right bias. Effectively teaching someone the Jedi code, at least if that part is still intact. Ooh. She's like, I guess. Yeah, you can't see the eyes rolling through the helmet. Although I don't know how much of the Jedi code is necessarily in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, I 
to somebody who wants Jedi artifacts, they'd, it'd be worth something. And that's why we're here at Nox. Huh. She looks sort of crestfallen. The, what's so down about a little smash and grab loot job? That was not our job, as I recall. It was to get what we could in salvage and artifacts, but it was to see why the beacon was still transmitting as well. I suppose that reason's all I could expect. We assumed it was merely still on for some random reason from the actual Jedi crash, not from survivors of another crash reestablishing it. Hmm. But it comes down to this. There's a bunch of people coming this way who are going to be murdering each other and anything in their way to get whatever they can find to make money. Because that's what we were all sent here to do. So let's stop talking and get to the ship before they get here. My personal thought is that somebody will break the hold that this man has over these these locals here, mostly by murdering him and, and everything around him. And, and that part is solved. The other tribes will either help them or they'll leave. At, at this point, short of me taking every explosive device that I have on my person and throwing it in a power plant in any metallic building around to turn it all into scrap metal, there's there's no break in the hold. And, and sure, we can get the holograms and, and stuff and take those with us, but the only way I see us doing that is waiting until the evening with all of these people coming in, sneak in there, hope he doesn't hear us, murder him while he sleeps, grab the stuff and walk out ship? the door. What was his role? He was the engineer. Oh, yeah, that's 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 obvious. He's an engineer. He's not a combatant. Not really. Is he gonna be watched by that guy with the lightsaber? Or any of those force users? Most likely. <clears throat> uh Judy the Elder and uh Admiral and Riva basically all stay in that ship. Or near it. Is he there at the common prayer? He leads it. Hmm. Like also all crazy guys? I mean, I, that's our two options. We either sneak in there, we grab the holograms at night, kill him while he's sleeping, and leave. Or we just let these other people come in and do the job and we get out of here with their lives. And well, mine was to go and confront, pretend to be a descendant of the Zabrak, since I basically am a Zabrak and challenge the engineer to one on one combat. I want you to look me dead in the eye and try to tell me that you are a living descendant of the fallen Jedi statue sitting right out there. Look me in the eye and try to tell me that. I am a descendant of the fallen Jedi. Can we make him roll that so that I sure. can see if he's lying? <laughs> Manipulation subterfuge. I have zero successes. Two. Yeah. But you know me. <laughs> yeah, but you weren't even convincing. Even though I know the truth, you could not convince me. But because you know the truth. A truthful statement. Make the woman roll. <laughs> All right, sympathy. Well, at this point, she knows too. Yeah, no one. She got zero. She got zero as well. So, but he could. <clears throat> I mean, I I would say go ahead and give that your best shot. I'll cover you if that doesn't work out. <laughs> what happens when they ask you to demand that you prove it by using the force? I mean, you've shown that you can sense it and that you know you have some knowledge of it, but I have never seen you lift any objects with it. Maybe we maybe we could hold something behind a curtain and we could guess what it is. Okay, we're not in Oz. <laughs> I'm gonna look at me. It I... may give them pause long enough for you to do something, but I have another plan. <laughs> <laughs> we could. It's Plan D now. Yeah, this is like Plan <laughs> F in my head. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we could make it look like he has control over the force by him pointing in certain directions, or maybe making some whatever gestures that they do. 
and have explosions. <laughs> or we could act like he's force pushing us out of the way or, or something. We could be his slaves. I don't know what he wants from me. This is going to take a lot of acting if we're going to pretend that he's a descendant of a Jedi. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and at that point, everybody goes, right. New plan. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm literally, I'm looking over at Viva and like, what do you think? Or, I can sense the force. I've been looking for my ancestor to train me. And, oh, like, I get what you're saying now. <laughs> it would get him close enough to the holograms. I am the first of the line. Too many to details. <laughs> Too many details. Keep it vague. <laughs> that may be enough to stop the populace from attacking. All I need is to get to the engineer. That may be enough. I don't feel okay with just leaving or grabbing and leaving when these people are subjugated by this man. Tune in next week when our heroes succeed magnificently or fail horribly. Or magnificently, as you like. <laughs> I fail magnificently.